It's Good Friday, and in Europe, that means a strict traditional observance of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Unless, of course, you are a radical Muslim refugee taught that the crucifixion basically never happened. Or at the very least, its meaning is completely different than the Christian understanding. Nevertheless, Spisa reports, Pope Francis washed and kissed the feet of 12 young asylum seekers to show the international community the importance of providing refugees shelter, said an official in the Vatican. Pope Francis has repeatedly asked Europe to open its doors to refugees, and at the Palm Sunday Mass, he asked the world not to turn its back on people in need. And as Good Friday is observed, Belgian police hunt down more suspects in the recent Brussels bombing. Meanwhile, Europe, shell-shocked by the attacks in Paris and Brussels, succumbs to the will of their radicalized foreign invaders, where Stockholm Syndrome is literally exploding. As the Gateway Pundit reports, Swedish women are showing their support for Islam by taking selfies in hijabs after the Brussels bombings wrongly accusing Swedish men for attacks on Muslim women, while Swedish women are raped in record numbers by refugees and Muslim women are treated worse than any feminist could ever comprehend by a third world misogynistic society they are supposedly fleeing from. It's an inconceivable situation, a clockwork orange if you will. A radical Islamic horde has been given the golden ticket by NWO puppets to carve out an Islamic caliphate from London to Rome to Brussels. Express UK reports evil ISIS have trained 400 fighters to target Europe in a deadly wave of attacks. The terror group has apparently deployed interlocking terror cells like the ones that struck in Brussels and Paris with chilling orders to choose the time, place, and method for maximum carnage. Is it any wonder why the far right's numbers in Europe are skyrocketing, as average Europeans out of sheer desperation are rushing by any means necessary to defend their nation, safety, children, religion, and their very lives? The Daily Mail reports, Vorpost, a Belgian white power organization that is being closely monitored by security services says its membership has rocketed following the carnage in Brussels. Vorpost leader Bart Van Pachtenbecki said, For a small country that is massive, our support has increased by 25%. People are realizing that everything we have been saying was right. He added, our government are world champions of looking away and pretending there isn't a problem. They are cowards and people are fed up with it. What will it take to mobilize real action, liberated from the New World Order's control of the soft invasion? Will it take nuclear terrorism? As the UN's IAEA chief, Yukia Amano, warned, member states need to have sustained interest in strengthening nuclear security, Amano said. The countries which do not recognize the danger of nuclear terrorism is the biggest problem. Amano's comments came before a summit of around 50 leaders in Washington on ensuring that nuclear material in the world's roughly 1,000 atomic facilities are secured. The Brussels bombers may have been very close to infiltrating one of Belgium's nuclear power plants. As Sputnik International reveals, the Bakrawi brothers had been monitoring the home of the director of the Belgian nuclear research program for months, but the arrest rest of parachuter Salah Abdesalam hastened the terror network to downgrade their plans and launch the attack in Brussels, Belgium, killing 31 and wounding dozens. John Bound for Infowars.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a 
free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.